Greetings internet, my name is Chris and this is Scrap Mechanic. So I haven't played this game in a while, but I uh, I saw a video that someone did uh, on a motorcycle and it was a really really cool design, I'll make sure to link it in the description. Uh, but this guy used a glitch in the game that involves the, uh, that involves the spring, uh, specifically the small spring. I think you can probably do it with both of them, but it makes it makes it so you can tilt your vehicle without um, having to use thrusters and stuff. And to show you the mechanic, if I step next to the sensor here, it will tilt opposite, and then it will do that to correct itself. Um, this is basically similar to what he made. I made a few changes to make it a little bit more functional. But uh, this is very similar to the motorcycle he made. And you can basically see if I step in front of this, it'll correct itself. Now the changes I made is simply changing uh, how much they tilt the... Actually first let me give you a tutorial on, on the thing that I'm even talking about so you know what, know what I'm actually talking about. Um, but yeah, so the sensors on the side are there so you can... Uh, um, so you can you can tilt it um, or the vehicle will tilt itself basically it might sound a little bit confusing uh, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here so it's not super confusing okay so we're just gonna place down uh, two controllers like so then we put um, oh let's just do it opposite if it will let me uh, I'll just do it like that then um, Okay, so we have two controllers. These are just going to be controlling our uh, our thing that we're using to tilt the machine. So basically, you put a bearing and then you uh, put a block and then the sport suspension, which is the shorter one. I'm sure you can use the bigger one as well, but I just use the short one because that one is it's more compact. Then we do the same thing, just the opposite side, block. Uh, suspension and then block on top of that you just want to make sure they're not you know like attached so they can actually move and then what we do we um, uh, may have done something kind of dumb here let's see where did I put the because I put the bearing there I just want to make sure that okay, there we go I just wanted to make sure I could reach both uh, controllers all right so we take the first spinny block attaches to that controller and we take the other one attaches to that one um, and they all need to be spinning, both need to be spinning into the block. This is what makes the glitch work. And then, let me just put the block, oh wait, I don't want to do that. And then we make them uh, spin 5%. Um, to make the uh, minute adjustment, like normally when you just pull it, it just goes like to every 15. If you want to make it like smaller than 15, you just hold shift and then move it. Uh, and then I just go down to five. Um, you only want to do it on the first one, so just make the first one five. Okay, um, so that's that's one of them. That's good. And then the other one, we make that one five as well, like so. And then let's just attach a button to each side. Um, connect each control to a button. Okay, connect the buttons to the seat. And then if I go into this, see, if I push one button, it tips me to one side, and if I push the other, it tips me to the other side. This is basically just how it works. It's a uh, sensor hooked up to these uh, springs that will then push into the seat, which makes the whole uh, vehicle tilt. This is uh, extremely nice to have for a lot of vehicles, which means like because basically this means you don't need to have a a gyroscope. You can you can essentially just have this uh, sort of glitch thingy uh, on your vehicle, and that can stop it from tilting. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to show you off the uh, motorcycle. As I said, this is my own ad adaptation of uh, the original. Uh, creator's motorcycle so mine is a little bit different it works uh, off of two motors because 
uh, you need separate powers for, uh, like you need, um, what's it called, you need different uh, torque for each uh, wheel, otherwise it'll keep flipping, as you just saw. Also, I'm gonna see if I can tilt it on the side, so you can really see the uh, anti-flipping. Because oh. you, you won't really notice it right now, but it is uh, adjusting itself, so we're not like tipping over. Um, and I have thought about maybe making something that uses uh, that uses uh, this glitch in all four directions, so forward, back, left and right, instead of only having left and right. You can see this is extremely, like this is extremely nice to drive. It just works really well. Uh, I can't really remember the name of the guy who who I saw this from, but I'll I'll find him and then uh, put a link to his uh, original video in the description. It's uh it's really nice. He, he does a whole tutorial on it, so uh, you can you can pick it up from there how to make this uh, motorcycle. Well, something that's similar to this. But yeah, this is this is really nice. So what I uh, what I thought uh, thought about after having made this thing was. Well, I've always wanted to make a hover thing, and then I could use this to avoid it from tipping. So you can see, again, I have the sensors on each side that makes it uh, do the anti-tipping. Um, one thing, by the way, like in the original video, he uh, he makes it so the uh, springs in the middle uh, turn 15 degrees when they're triggered. I set them to 5, which makes the turning a lot more gentle. Because something I noticed in his video was that it would tilt, but then it would constantly rock back and forth because it was uh, it was overcompensating. So you can see this thing here has uh, one thruster in the front that can turn, um, and then two in the back. But this uh, yeah, this uh, sort of hover thingy is not very functional, and it's not really hovering. It's more like sliding across the ground. It still has some functionality, which is nice, because I've always wanted to make something in this game that sort of hovers, but not really. You know, a little bit similar to a pod racer, maybe. Um, where it's like only slightly hovering above the ground. But uh, this thing wasn't it, so I, I kept trying, and I made another thing that sort of works a little bit better. As you can see, this thing has a very hard time getting over slopes, but it does, it does get over slopes. Um... And also the uh, anti-tipping helps it a lot. So this is sort of my final thing that I came up with. I built it this uh, a few moments ago. And basically what you do, you just activate the button and it's sort of hovering right now, sort of. And then we use the front thruster to propel us forward and turn. Um, we really need the anti-tilting on this one because it really likes to tilt a lot. Because it's uh, it's not completely balanced uh, when you're turning and stuff. It could be really nice to have um, to have like all four directions. So you know, like if it starts tipping backwards or forwards like that, for example, then uh, then like it would it would counterbalance itself. Uh, but one thing that's nice is that I don't have to go out and pick it up using the uh, um, what's it called. Um, I don't even know what that thing is called. The lift, that's it. But yeah, so it's kind of nice that it can uh, just tip around by you stepping out in front of the sensor. And I think like I think this is a really cool machine. It obviously has quite a lot of flaws, like the fact that it has a lot of trouble getting up um, slopes like this. And actually, you do actually need kind of a lot of speed in order to get up something like this. Like if I just floor it, it's just gonna flip backwards like that. And you need quite a lot of speed in order to, uh, um, yeah, in order to not flip over or to get over that little incline. Because the way the thrusters work is the fact that they, uh, they push off from the ground. So going up slopes is very hard. <laughs> like it's a lot easier to go, to go up a slope with a wheel which is why like the motorcycle had no problem with it. But uh, the thrusters, the way they work, just make it kind of hard to do that. Oh, 
and then if I see it doesn't really turn when um, when I only use the one thruster but I sort of have to like toggle on and off in order to get up but it's not really working right now also I have set the thrusters all to the optimal speed um, something I didn't know you could do which kind of annoyed me because I was looking for a way to do this is that you can actually just press E on a thruster and then set the uh, the speed so you can see they have three on those four and then I think yeah four on the propelling one which makes it sort of hover which is kind of nice um, but yeah I think something I just want to try now just before uh, I end this video is making uh, the thing I'm talking I've been talking about where like uh, it uh, it sort of uses that glitchy thing in order to uh, propel itself and to propel itself to stabilize itself in all four directions. Okay, yeah, this is what this is what I wanted to do, all right? Because the problem I <laughs> I just realized earlier was that um, I had two of them uh, facing the same way, so essentially it would only be able to tip two directions. So if I do it like this, I was just, oh, whoa, how the fuck did I do that? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Yeah, so if I do it like that, I was, I'm just gonna use this thing, there you go. If I do it like this, then now it should be able to flip in all directions. Also, I don't need to have it on a block. Like my idea was to spin them all uh, 45 degrees so they're all pointing towards the middle but I'm not sure if that actually changes anything like I'm pretty sure it will it will do what I want it to do regardless of uh, which way it's turned so if we do like that they should all be able to spin into the block cool we'll set this to five like so and so now the thing I don't know yet, and which this uh, test here will determine, is whether or not this will work with a plate like this, or if it has to be the seat. Because I've only tried it with the seat, uh, this uh, exploit here, or not exploit, uh, glitch, I should call it. It's not an exploit, it's a glitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've only tried it with a seat, and I don't know if there's a difference between the seat or and a uh, plate I've constructed myself. Um, okay, so hmm, maybe if we just put a sensor on each side like that. Yeah, we'll we'll see if I need to angle them or anything. Like the reason why we angle them with uh, the machines is obviously so it doesn't just keep constantly tipping every time it detects the ground. Okay, now we give this a try. We walk in front of this. Oh. oh, okay, so you can see I made a mistake here. This one is supposed to be connected to the... Stop it. It's supposed to be connected to the spring. There we go. And... Okay. Perfect. Alright. Um, now all there's really left to do is kind of... I don't know, make this thing tip and then force it to try and adjust itself. It's kind of stuck on that plate. See, it's on an uneven surface, which makes it kind of freak out, I think. This is kind of funny, though. It's basically just using the, the springs right now to try and make itself completely even. Oh, I think this one got stuck. That's not good. Oh dear. Yeah, this one's bugged out for sure. Hmm, this is quite interesting. But yeah, I wonder if this like could help you with a hovercraft. But you can see it immediately adjusts to uh, to me stepping in front of it. Hmm. 
Huh. Yeah. But this is this is cool. I like it. So this is basically this is basically like a gyroscope. A gyroscope is a little bit different. This one stabilizes according to um outside input where a gyroscope always stabilizes no matter what like this one just reverts back to its default state which is being flat on the ground like this you could also make um, something that's like upright and make it so it would never fall over always try to correct itself to standing upright there's a lot of um, ideas and implementations for this kind of thing also I think I lost my I lost one of the hover thingies. Oh, here it is. Right, because I couldn't get it up the slope. Let's just give it one try and see if I can get it up again. Oh, that sounded sounded wrong. <laughs> uh, it does really want to flip me. Oh, and it succeeded. At least we are turned to the right side now. I love that though. I love how it just auto corrects itself so yeah um, as I said I'll have a link to where I found the original video and uh, you can hop over and check out his tutorial on how to make the uh, um, the motorcycle I really want to get this up without getting like without having to use the lift it's sort of working it's just really slow ah here we go Nice. But yeah, so I'll probably uh, implement this uh, little weird board here I made, like something similar like this into uh, a hovercraft. Cause this thing is awesome for, you know, like, like, you know, just like the, the three machines I have here, they, they only adjust the, the, the tilt to the left and the right. But having it adjust in all four directions would make something like this a lot more stable because it wouldn't constantly try to, you know, flip over on the side. Or like uh, flip like this, for example. See, that that's really annoying when it does that. But yeah. Um, I don't know if it's just me or... Or what? But it feels like the game is a little bit more stable as well now, and they fixed one of the most annoying problems they had, where uh, your vehicles could get stuck in the ground. Um, so yeah, the game seems to be doing pretty well so far. They've implemented uh, two new things. They've implemented a horn and a toilet. So obviously, they've got their uh, priorities straight. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know what else they could really implement. Like it would be nice to see maybe some coloring option or something. Uh, but so far it, it seems pretty well like it also it would be nice to have some different maps to to work around with because um, uh, I'm kind of bored of, of this kind of thingy like maybe something a little bit different because so far we only have like this kind of map it is randomly generated but it's I don't know it's just kind of annoying to look at I think that's just my opinion and then we have the flat world which I'm not a fan of either also, they need to make it so we can adjust the, uh, you know, the size of the map because the flat world is really small, so you can't even like make something humongous in it, which is uh, kind of kind of a shame because you're like in a completely flat world. But oh well. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And again, for the fourth or fifth time, uh, go check out the link in the description. See ya.